When you record online with Riverside, your remote guests can tune in from their mobile devices. That includes an iPhone, iPad, and Android device. We're gonna walk through the guest experience of tuning in to a Riverside recording from their mobile device and some tips for you as the host to make sure your guest has everything they need before the recording. There's two things your remote guests are gonna to need to tune in from their mobile device. One is the link to the studio as a guest, and also they will need to download the Riverside app ahead of time. A great tip might be to send an email to all your remote guests tuning in from a mobile device and include not only the Riverside Studio link, but also the link to download the Riverside app, either on their iPhone or iPad, or a different link for the Android devices that you might have on the call. If your guests don't have the app installed and tap the link to join the studio, it will try to load the studio in the web browser, but it actually needs the app to work. There is a link on this page to download the app right from the website. It will bring the user to their app store and they can download the Riverside app right from here. Once they've downloaded the Riverside app on their mobile device, they don't need to sign into the app to join the online studio. On their first time opening it, they will need to choose to allow notifications and allow microphone and camera access. And then it tells the users to tap the studio link that they received to enter the studio. Now if we go back to the email that we sent our guests and tap the link, you see the app will request camera access. Make sure to hit OK on that. And it also needs access to the device microphone. Your guests will then be encouraged to put in their name and they can even add a photo. And when they hit next, they'll get a preview of their video and audio. Now we always encourage those recording in a Riverside studio to use headphones. This will reduce the echo and some of that feedback from having the speaker on the device speaking out and the microphone then picking that up on the guest side. So you can use AirPods, even Bluetooth or wireless headphones, but you can even use wired headphones and external microphones from a mobile device, an iPhone, iPad, or Android. We actually have an entire video dedicated to recording with high quality audio and headphone devices from an iPhone or iPad. You can check out the link above or the link in the video description. Your guests can choose to mute themselves upon entry or turn off their camera if you're doing an audio only recording. And when your guest is ready to join, they can tap join in the top right corner. Because they're a guest, you as the host or producer will actually have to admit them in the online studio. You'll see here in the right hand column that in the lobby there's someone waiting. And again, you can see the name that they typed right there. And as soon as you click admit, that person will then join the Riverside call. Now that you've admitted your guest, you can actually see the microphone, headphones, and which camera on the mobile device your guests are using. Here in the right hand column, click the arrow. You'll see the resolution that their video is coming in. That's 4K resolution right there. And under input and output, you'll see they're using the back dual camera. And we recommend for the best quality video, if they're using a phone, use that back camera instead of the front facing camera. It's using the built-in microphone and the default speakers on the mobile device. Once you start the recording in the Riverside Studio, your mobile guests will get the same countdown that you see and then it will begin recording. Now their mobile device is also recording high quality video and audio locally to their phone or tablet device. And like when a guest tunes in from a computer, their mobile device is uploading those high quality video and audio files during the online recording. Once you stop the recording, be sure to tell your remote guest to wait until they see 100% on their upload in that cloud icon. Once the cloud icon shows 100% of the file has been uploaded, they can then safely leave the call. They can tap the end call button and then leave studio. If their files didn't finish uploading, they'll see a notification on this screen to wait until they've reached 100%. And once they've been completely uploaded, they can hit done. Once you've left the recording studio, you can then look at your dashboard and see the recordings for all your mobile guests and yourself. You can download separate tracks, audio and video for every participant, including those who tuned in with an iPhone, iPad or Android device. And that's the Riverside mobile guest experience. If you have any questions, leave a comment below this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the Riverside channel. We have videos on high quality video and audio recording on those mobile devices. We'll put a link above and in this video's description. Plus we have lots of other tutorials on adding video to your podcast, how to use video switchers, automating your podcast workflow, and a ton more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.